what is in your mind uh, society's vision of like the perfect man, right? Like what does that look like today mm. in today's society? It's a good question because I think today's society, we have a lot of like femme-centric systems, whether it's like the education system, um, the judiciary system, they're all femme-centered. So it's, what does that mean, femme-centered? It means that it's women who are raising men or like teaching mm -hmm. boys. So you have more um, more female teachers in schools and they say to boys, it's okay to cry. It's okay to this. You know, They're not teaching them mental resilience and, and how to become a strong man, how to become a strong adult. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the judiciary system, if for if a man and a, and a woman are together, they're married and, um, you know, say she cheats or whatever it is, they, they get divorced. She gets half his money and the kids. You know, it's very femme-centric. Um, and so it's the woman that's in charge. We keep talking about like, um, you know, the patriarchy. The patriarchy's dead. We live in a matriarchy whereby men, I think, get the brunt of everything. I don't think even marriage is a good deal for men either. Why not? For what I just said, because of the judiciary system. Mm. Um, because Like basically in the, in the downside case, the men get screwed. Exactly, exactly. Mm. Whereas a woman is always going to be safe. And also we have to consider how men and women are viewed in society. Again, we, we talk about the so-called patriarchy, but it's women who are valued more than men. We want equality, but like, what does equality even mean? I think women are intrinsically valued on a higher level to men because it's the women and the children that are always protected first. Mm -hmm. It's the men that are sent off to war. It's the men that are more disposable. Mm -hmm. As a man, like I said, you have to become and a woman can just be. So it's like society doesn't care about you until you become something. Um, and nobody wants to talk about that. And I think we should talk about it. The reason we should talk about it is because I think the dynamics between men and women would just be better. Like, I think that um, with the correct, with healthy masculinity, um, femininity can can thrive in that kind of space. Mm -hmm. And if we stop men from being masculine and we stop women from being feminine, the genders just m melt into each other and it, it becomes a mess and there's a lot of toxicity. And so nobody wants to talk about the fact that men are disposable in this world. Mm -hmm. Well, there, there's obviously the old like phrase, you know, uh, hard times make strong men yes. and, and kind of go through the whole thing. And eventually what you get is good times and then good times make weak men and weak men make hard times. Um, and, and so when we think about that, is that just like a natural cycle that we've seen throughout civilizations? Or is this something new where American society is... Uh, taking the idea of what it is to be a man and, and changing it? Or have we seen in the past, after the Roman Empire fell, like was there some point in time where uh, no men were supposed to cry and do all these different things because it was no longer about uh, kind of the dominance of, of uh, kind of ancient Rome? Or is this something that you think is brand new? I think there's two pivotal parts in modern day. I mean, I'm only in my 20s, so I can't think mm -hmm. too far back, but let's just take the 60s, right? The 60s is an, is an amazing example because that was basically the liberation of women. Mm -hmm. um, that's basically when women didn't need men, right? It's it's feminism because feminism empowers women. Um, what, some, is, what is feminism? How, which wave? I don't know, you tell me. Feminism, ultimately, if you speak to a feminist, she's going to say, oh, it's about the equality of men and women. I don't think it is anymore. It's about the woman's right to choose her own destiny. And I think that's I think that's important. I think that's great. Um, you know, I clearly have my own career or whatever, but that's because I believe in individual empowerment. I think everybody should be um, empowered to save themselves. As a woman, you shouldn't rely on um, a husband. You shouldn't rely on the government. You shouldn't rely on daddy. Whatever, you need to be empowered because you don't know what's coming tomorrow, right? Mm -hmm. What if your husband dies? What if your dad, you know, whatever. Um, and so that's essential. But we're now at a point whereby feminism, I think, has gone too far. So, um, you know, if you hold the door for a man, uh, sorry, if a man holds the door for you, what are you doing? I can hold my own door. Um, and, and like these, these things are so integrated into society. I'm from London. And when I was 21, I used to work as a journalist and I carried all this heavy equipment by myself on the London underground up and down the stairs. Not one man ever ever offered to help me because he was, I could see it. They looked at me, but they're like, oh, should I, should I not, should I? And I'm like, yes, help me. I'm a little woman. It's okay. I'm not offended. Right. Um, but they never did because they were um, afraid that they would offend me. Um, and I, so I think feminism has gone too far. It's now rejecting um, the feminine. They're trying to say, well, you know, what is it? Why, why is, why is soft and nurturing feminine? Because it is, and that's okay. Um, so I feel like they are rejecting that. Um, and 
we sort of spoke about this earlier, but there's like this, this pendulum that's going on. Mm-hmm. And I think we've gone way too far one way. Mm-hmm. Um, and now the likes of like Andrew Tate and, you know, this kind of content are pushing people the other way and making people more comfortable about talking about these things. I also think, the reason why I'm so vocal about this, some people say to me, oh, you're just doing it for clicks. You're doing it because it's a really good niche. It's not true. Like I want to get married. Like Mm -hmm. I'm single. I want to get married and I want to find um, a masculine man, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's, and, and so that's hard because there aren't so many masculine men left Mm -hmm. because they don't know how to be because of the femme-centric systems that we spoke about. Um, You know, it's okay to cry. It's okay to, like, the the fact of the matter is your wife doesn't want to see you cry. She doesn't want to see you struggle. She All she wants is safety and that's it. So if you're looking weak, that's going to worry her. And so the respect for you declines. And again, people don't like this reality, but it, I think these are conversations are really important. I- hey, you, did you like this video? Great. Make sure you're subscribed, like the video, and see you next time.